Hey guys, how we doing today? My name is JMac. Today we're back with another video, back with another box opening. Today we are back with 2223 Series 1 Upper Deck Hockey. We're going to jump right into this, go a little bit quicker with this one, opening it, and uh, yeah, we'll see how we do in this one. If you haven't watched the first one, go watch it now, skip it. I don't care if you want to skip it, you can skip it, that's fine. But um, yeah, we're going to jump right into this one, so let's get into it. All right, part two. Let's see how we can um, do in this box. Hopefully we can do better than what was in the first box. So let's see. We got a John Merrill, Paul Mary, Texier, Jesper Faust. And we have a canvas right away. This one is of Jake Allen. So um, chilling there with a fan, clearly. So yeah, there is a Jake Allen canvas. Hey, I did it right. There's a Jake Allen canvas. Then Wayne Train, Stone, and Sod. All right, second pack. Hopefully we can get some second pack luck. That would be nice. What's with all these portrait shots all of a sudden? Um, Anthony Sorelli. Um, if you haven't seen the last video, go check it out. There's a really good portrait picture of a base of a certain player that probably beats Brandon Tan about. Um, but we got Artem Zub, Corrali. Oh, nice. And a Jack Quinn Young Guns. All right. Um, Jack Quinn is slotted to be a high top nine. He could potentially be a top six at one point. But um, yeah, he's very young. Uh, he could definitely do decent in the NHL. He's got good speed. So, yeah, that's not a bad one. So, that's a top 10 in my opinion. So, there's a Jack Quinn Young Gun. So, that's very nice. Uh, and then we got a Skinner, Taze. He could be on the move. Alexi Lafreniere and Philip Ronick. And where do you guys think Taze and Kane are going to go? They're definitely going to get traded at the deadline. So, it's just a matter of where we think they're going to head to. So, that'll be interesting to find out. Uh, we got a Sprong, Grizzlick. Here's a checklist. We got Barkov and Braden Point, number 101 to 200. We got a Tyler Myers and French variant, I'm going to assume. Yeah, French variant of Ilias Sorokin here. So there is the French variant there. So nothing nothing absolutely crazy, but there's that. Uh, and then we got a Hagel, Gensel, and a Ovi. But yeah, in my opinion, if Buffalo keeps playing the way that they do where they're Kind of sitting high pack, you know what I mean? I think they can make a move for Kane. Bring him back home. He would love to probably play in Buffalo. Um, all right, so we got some foil here. We got a Ryan Hartman, Matheson, Frederick Anderson. Oh, and we got one in the center of attentions. It's a Dylan Larkin. I do like the red. The red, red looks really cool. I don't know if there's variants of center of attention, but that one looks pretty nice. So there's a Dylan Larkin. Uh, and then we got my boy, Hoaglander. Batherson and Robertson. All right, moving on to the next pack here. Let's see what we can get here. So we got a Faraby. There it is. That's the one. If you didn't watch it, there it is. That that base is absolutely incredible. Uh, so there's a Garnet Hathaway. That's gonna make me laugh every time I see it. Garnet Hathaway uh, base there. Then we got a Jake Muzzin, Drew Doughty, and a Alex DeBrinket superstar honor roll there. Just a regular one. It looks like not a version of it. So there's a DeBrinket honor roll there. Uh, and then we got Suter, Johnson, and Kalorn. Oh, and by the way, the uh, I believe the cup comes out next week. So um, I will be probably indulging into a uh, box of the cup. So let's see what happens, though. Uh, we got a Jack Roslovic. We got a Joel Armia, Pasternak, Strom, and a black canvas of Anze Kopitar, which is fitting because of the black and white jersey. So that's very nice there. He's from Slovenia, but... Yeah, there is a black canvas of Anze Kopitar. That would be nice to get a Young Guns canvas of that. That would be pretty cool. Uh, then we got a Peterson, Nelson, and Sillinger. So what have we got? One Young Gun so far, and it was a decent one. So hopefully we can get a good one here. So we got a Jack Eichel, Keller. There's a McDavid. Hey, there we go. Matty Beneers. Matty Beneers Young Guns. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Um, top three, if not top five. Um, young Guns in here. I feel like Owen Power and Matty Beneers are back and forth, but yeah, that's the one you want to get is a Matty Beneers um, or an Owen Power. So um, yeah, he played 10 games with the Kraken, had nine points. He was a minus one. So yeah, he's going to be a stud. So there is a Matty Beneers Young Guns from the Kraken. So there is um, there's the first Kraken Young Gun there. So that's awesome to get. Uh, Hockenpah, Mantha, Buchnevich, and Tanu. All right, so hopefully Mark McLaughlin goes with uh, Matty Beniers because that's kind of who I'm looking for now. So let's see, and Matt Boldy too, but um, I don't think he's going to pair up with um, Beniers. But uh, we got an Ekholm. Oh, gosh, 
I need to find out where my base file is so I can actually put it down. Um, and then we got a Jeff Carter. Then we got a Johnny Hockey and a Mark Maselli. Mat or, sorry, Matthias Maselli, Young Guns here. Um, Matthias Maselli is nothing special in my opinion. They're just kind of putting them up there because they don't really have too much of a roster in Arizona. So um, nonetheless, he had six points in 23 games left when you're so... Yeah, he's an AHL guy, but there's a Matias Maselli Young Guns there. Uh, and then we got a Tony D'Angelo, Evans, uh, Adam Henrique, and Ocposa. All right, moving on to the next pack here. Um, I don't think anything's going to top that veneers. I feel like we kind of looked out with that. So let's see. We got a Debrinkit, Nico Dawes. We got a Morgan Riley, Cam Fowler, and we got a Portraits of Sid. So that's a nice one to get. So we got Ovi in the last box, Sid in this one. So 1,400 points in 1,100 games. So that's pretty incredible there. So there's a Sidney Crosby portraits. I do like those. Uh, Brodeen, Dallin, and Robin Leonard. Speaking of Leonard, he's still on the IR. And Logan Thompson has been picking him up. Absolutely. The best team in the league, in my opinion, is is Vegas right now. So... Let's see, we had a Carter Verhage, Rasmus, Rasmus Ristolainen, Alexander Barkov, uh, we have a canvas here, Kyle Clegg, yeah, and it's a Jared McCann canvas, so he got some kind of fish toy there, so that's interesting. Um, but yeah, Jared McCann, Seattle Kraken, so he's definitely picked himself up. He was in Vancouver, and then he went to Pittsburgh, um, and I think he went to Florida at one point, right? Does it show it on here? No, um, but now he's in Seattle. And he's definitely contributed a lot to Seattle. 50 points in 74 games. He was a minus 26, which is tough. But, yeah. So, there's a Jeremy Can canvas there. Um, Kyle Connor, Josh Bailey, and a Kevin Kakinen. Still looking for, like, a decent hit, I feel like. I mean, don't get me wrong. The Beneers is a nice hit. But I want something that surprised me. Uh, Jordan Bennington, Neil Pionk, Jeremy Can. Then we got a defense mechanism of... Victor Hedman there, so there's a Victor Hedman, one of the better defensemen in defensemen in the league. So there is that. Then we got a Talbot, Spencer Knight, a Sergachev, and Makar. All right, moving on to the next pack here. See what we can get. Start off with a Brendan Gallagher. Then we got a Sonny Milano, Victor Olofsson, and a Trey Fix Wolanski, Young Guns. Um, not a fantastic one. He was just put on waivers recently by Columbus, so um, he's nothing too fantastic, but yeah, there's a Trey Fix Wolanski, Young Guns, uh, and then we got a Stutzla, Jenner, which is a little opposite of there, uh, Jamie Alexiak, and Charlie Coyle. All right, next pack in, let's see what we can get here. Um, I tried to cheat a little bit. Is that a canvas, Young Guns? I feel like, oh, it is, okay. <laughs> all right, I almost thought, that's all right. All right, let's see, we got a Mason Appleton, then we got a Formentin, Jordan Cairo, Jacob Truba, Linus Allmark, Thatcher Demko, Shea Theodore with the gold helmet, that's kind of rad. Um, and it was this way, I believe. It's a shark, I don't know too many shark young guns. It's not Eklund, right? Thomas Bordolo. Young Guns Canvas. Thomas Bordolo. I'm not too familiar with him. Um, he's from Houston. Interesting. Eight games, five assists. He is a... What position is he? What position? Like, so much I don't know this guy. Um, and I feel bad. Because he's probably a decent player. I don't know what position he is. He's a left-handed shot, so he might be a right winger. If not, he's a defenseman. Uh, what's his, what's his height and weight? He's 5'10", 175, so he's probably a winger. Um, if I'm missing it somewhere, I'm so sorry, but I just don't see it on here. So I'm gonna have a few, uh, smart fellas in my comment section help me out. But yeah, the canvases look nice for the Young Guns, so there's that. So, a Thomas Bordolo Young Guns canvas, so that one's pretty nice. Alright, so a Matty Beneers and a Young Guns canvas. I feel like you can't really beat that. Here comes the Dazzlers now. Uh, so let's see, we got a Nick Ehlers, Anthony Beauvillier, Eric Carlson, Lucas Raymond, second year, and a Zach Hyman Dazzler. So, uh, yeah, there's a Zach Hyman Dazzlers there, nothing crazy. Checklist of Robertson and Shesterkin, JT Miller, and Goudreau Frederick. All right, moving on to the next pack here. Let's see what we can get. 
Start off with Joel Erickson Eck, Mario Ferraro, Chandler Stevenson, Matt Zuccarello, and a checklist canvas of the Hughes brothers. So they're doing it again, huh? The Hughes brothers coming together um, for the next checklist. So um, they were a Young Guns canvas, or they were Young Guns checklist um, in 1920. But yeah, here's a canvas checklist of Quinn Hughes and Jack Hughes. Uh, and then we got a Dursey, Shillington, and Carter Hart. All right, next pack in. I feel like we're about halfway through. If not, we're more than halfway through. But um, let's just continue on here. So we got a Bazili Pod Coles in, Phil Kurashev, Brady Shea. Oh, and we got a second one of these. Jonathan Tay, center of attention. So um, again, not too sure if there's a variant, but I don't know if that's like a weird variant, but we got two of them. So there's the center of attention of Jonathan Taves there. Um, and then Kapanen, Toffoli, Maurice Lickens, and Jake Allen. All right, next pack. Moving on. Let's see what we got here. Uh, so we start off. We got Anton Lundell, Alex Kerfoot, Alex Newhook, and a defense mechanism. This one's Thomas Shabbat. Yeah, Thomas Shabbat here. So there is a Thomas Shabbat defense mechanism there. Uh, and then we got a Terry, Pellick, Couturier, and Carlson. All right, next pack. Let's see what we got. I say the same thing all the time, and I'm sorry about that, but whatever, don't worry about me. Um, we got Stuart Skinner, Anthony Stolarz, the portraits, Tanner Janot, Victor Arvidsson. We got a third one? What the heck? Um, Evgeny Kuznetsov, center of attention. Like, I don't know if these are variations or not. I can't tell, but we've gotten three of them. I'm gonna assume that's it, right? Um... So that we don't have any really good inserts, I feel like. So there's a third center of attention. My goodness. Uh, Martian, uh, Connor Murphy, and Mike Hoffman. That's kind of disappointing. I wish we had gotten something else, but maybe we will get something else. Who knows? Um, I think we got an honor roll here. So we start off with the Morgan Baron. Right? Morgan Baron, yeah. Uh, Anton Forsberg, Colin Pareko, Alex Tuck, and a Kyle Connor honor roll there. Just a regular honor roll. So there's a Kyle Connor. Uh, Marner, Dano, and Carrier. Six more packs to go. Let's see what we can get in these last six. Um, I think we need three more young guns. Maybe I lied. Maybe we need four. Maybe we need two. Something like that. So let's see. We got a JT Comfer, Ryan Reeves, Dylan Larkin, and Elena Sandin young guns here. So a Florida, or yeah, golly, a um philadelphia prospect he's born in 96 so he's probably not anything crazy so probably an ahl guy especially with the way that for um, philly has been but yeah there is a lena sandin young guns i wonder if these are related to rasmus but uh let's see barrett hayden Vogel, shvechnikov and brat all right five packs to go and this will be the end of box two so let's see do we have another young guns it looks like we do um sam gerard uh, Carol Vamilka, excuse me, Ryan Donato, and it's a Pittsburgh Valtteri Pustinen, um, Young Guns, Valtteri Pustinen, um, not too familiar with him, he was a 99 kid, um, made his debut on March 11th, and had an assist, um, he's a right winger, but I don't really know too much about him, but if he's good, he's good, I guess, so Valtteri Pustinen, Young Guns, so there's that, um, Tippett, Anderson, uh, Marshman, and Oscar Lindblom. So I just counted, and that was our sixth Young Gun. So we should be done with the Young Guns now. So if we can get good inserts. So, uh, we got a Victor Hedman, Tristan Jari, a Vitek Vanacek, Andreas Janssen, and a Trevor Zegers portraits there. Very nice to have Zegers. Um, don't know if that was a picture of him in the All-Star game or not, but there's a Zegers Young Gun, or portrait there, so that's nice. Um, Nylander, Drysdale, Barbashev. Three more packs to go. Try and make them good packs here. Do we have another black and white canvas? No, just a regular canvas. Uh, Roman Yossi, Casey Middlestat. We got Trevor Moore, Milan Lucic, and a Braden Point canvas there. Just sitting on the bench, chilling out. And, yeah, there's a Braden Point canvas. Um, Yamamoto, Caulfield, and Goudreau. Wow, I had a super Boston accent with Caulfield. And I promise I'm doing my real voice. I don't have a Boston accent. I promise you. I promise you. All right, let's see what we got in this one. So we got a Quinn Hughes, Connor Brown, Ryan Suter, and a rookie retrospective. I should have figured as much. 
of Alex Newhook, 14th in goals, tied for 8th in plus minus with 11. So, um, decent rookie for Alex Newhook, so there's that. Uh, Hellebuck, Drieger, Igor, and Craig Smith. And the final pack of the two boxes here. Let's try and end off with a bang, that would be nice. Uh, we had a Kevin Hayes, Watson Kraus, Ilya Sorokin, and the debut dates of Dawson Mercer. So, Dawson Mercer was 10-15-21 against the Blackhawks. Um, I don't know if he scored. He third period goal. Oh, he set up Andres Johansson. Or Johansson. So he got an assist in his debut. So there's a debut dates of Dawson Mercer. Uh, then the Saros, Wierenski, Majapani, and a Damon Severson to end off box number two. All right, guys, there's been two boxes of 22 23 Series 1 Upper Deck Hockey. And in my opinion, it seemed like box two. Definitely one, in my opinion. Had a Young Guns canvas as well as a good Young Guns. And then three of these. I don't know why. But, um, yeah. Definitely feel like box two won. Basically because... I uh, just threw whoever that was. Basically because of this man right here. So that's really nice. We got a black canvas there. And then there's the third one of those. And Jack Quinn's not a bad one either. But this is definitely the winner here of the Matty Veneers. So um, we can see that... Um, who is that? Devil's Man? pretty upset there um he doesn't like the way he looks and he's pretty upset this little child here but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching um get ready for the cup that'll be coming out soon and uh yeah take care have fun and um time to crack the ice with um 22 23 products i can't believe i'm a cringe like that i'm so sorry guys